No, I'm just, how are we all? Just I'm going to know a little bit of history on uh, Tasmanian tigers. Can you see it? Have a look. See the stripes on the back? Right, now you're not going to believe where the several thousand year old drawing is of a Tasmanian tiger. Now there's another fossil picture of a fish, right? Now these are hand drawn in Aboriginal art. Now everybody thinks that the Tassie tiger only survived in Tasmania. Now being Mr. Hominoid, Hominoid is a cryptozoological name. Now, there have been sightings of Tassie tigers recently in several years around Perth, Adelaide, Melbourne, Hazelbrook in the Blue Mountains by Yowie hunters, uh, Dean Harrison, I think it was, back in 1990-something. Um, and I think it's on his story um, at Dargan. D-A-R-G-A-N, Dargan. And he said how he sat there and he seen this funny looking dog come walking up the truck, uh, the track at Hazelbrook. Now, a lot of people are still underneath the belief that the Tassie tiger only existed in Tasmania where they're exterminated because they got the blame for killing all the farmer's sheep. Now, there's also... Another event where a Tassie Tigers, Tassie Tigers, only a few years ago, 2015 approximately, were sighted in a bunch, mum, dad and three pups, or young ones, in a creek up in North Queensland by a Queensland policeman travelling down the highway right up the very top up there in top of the um, top end of Australia. So you know when you go up the coast of Australia and you've got that big tip and it comes down and it comes across? He was just down the bottom of that first dip. And he was about 50 k's in or 100 k's down south of that. And he parked his police car on the bridge and he looked down and he couldn't believe his eyesight. He was watching these Tasmanian tigers. So this is only about 8 to 10 years ago maybe 15 years ago, and he, he wouldn't dare make a report about it because people would have thought he was a lunatic. But now, let's play this tape. Now, this is from... Um, the main Mike Leyland. I talk about the Leyland brothers on one of my previous videos. Mike and Mal travelled around Australia in the you 60s. You see a man smoking a pipe and another standing with his hands on his hips stand out because they are different. Even though they're only small figures in the main freeze of polychrome x-ray painting. And way up there, there's a painting of a Tasmanian tiger or a thylacine. How did he get up there to paint it? That's anybody's guess. <laughs> this painting is at least 15 metres above ground level on the rock face under the left hand end of this huge rock overhang above the main gallery. Tasmanian tigers have been extinct on the mainland for hundreds of years and this painting is believed to be at least 3,000 years old. On our way up to the lookout and hilltop art sites we stopped to observe native bees that have made their home in a crack in the rocks near the walking track. Mike and Angie Leyland, Kakadu and beyond published in 2014. So if you want to get in and watch that, that's where I'm at. I'm watching the Leyland Brothers. I was out there at um, Kemp's Creek Bowling Club and I said, ask the Leyland Brothers. Well, this is Mike. Well, this is Mike of Mike and Mal. This is him now. I'm guessing this must have been filmed about the 1990s or the 1980s because there's no sign of coronavirus, there's no face masks, and the type of car he's in looks like about a 1990s model. So it's still 30 years old. But it's still interesting to see how this... 
And way up there, there's a painting of a Tasmanian tiger. Or a thylacine. How did he get up there to paint it? That's anybody's guess. <laughs> So by what we've been there, he's 50. The so the I'm 60. And when he first went around Australia, he was only in his 20s. Anyway, so, and here's another one, which I've sent over to... Um, uh, Downey Live and a few other people and Rob Rob at um, Reacts Robert Reacts the lower bar in the middle and then you've got Mike and Mar Margie which is his second wife Leyland Outback Coast and there's the Mike and Margie Lay Malin Cape York Adventure. So there's plenty of them around. They, they all go for 44 minutes and 10, roughly. So lure of the red centre. This must be back in the 90s because now ES Rock, which is actual name is Uluru. Right, Uluru. Anyway, just a little bit there for Mr. Hominoid. I was talking about Mike, Mike and Mal Leyland, and Mal's now dead, and this is Mike. So I'm thinking there he's about 50. So he was 20 in the 60s, so if he was born in the 40s. But anyway, we'll have a Google, and you can go look it up. Mike and Mal Leyland on Google, and you'll find out when they were born. So just thought you might like that. I want to be able interesting things like rail disasters and um, Mike Mount Layden, border country. Anyway, Michael Margiela, Storm Coast. They have got a lot of stuff. Anyway, see us later from Mr. Hominoid Down Under. And... Um, can anybody tell me what a billabong is, a jumbuck, and a, what's another one I'm going to try and confuse you with? Right, a billabong, a jumbuck, and a dry as a bone. Yeah, dry as a bone. What is a dry as a bone and a kubra? If you think you know all four answers, leave me a comment down below. Right? A billy, dry as a bone, a cobra, a jumbuck, and a billabong. Well, actually, a billy. That's what I didn't say. Yeah, what is a billy? B I L L Y. A billy. Not William. No. It's used out in the bush. What is a billy? And I'll give you a clue. How do you make a billy? All right, Mr. Hominoid, see you later.